Well, here we are. I'm going to build a full playable tavern with details inside and out and different levels that can come off so we can play on each floor. I'm starting out here in The Sims, actually, to design it. I've got a map that I'm kind of going off of, the Blue Water Inn from Curse of Strahd, but I want to see what it looks like in 3D instead of just a top-down view. So I'm going to start here in The Sims and see what I can get it to look like, see if I can put a few things in, and then we'll move down to the craft room and start cutting up some foam and getting that together. Hopefully it'll turn out really cool. I've got some ideas on how to make it all work out. And it's probably not going to look quite the same as what I designed. But we're going to start here. So after planning out my building, my tavern in The Sims, I've come down here and started cutting out pieces of the floor. I've got the first floor uh, laid out. Nothing's glued together yet, just holding on by tape. But I decided to do the grid of the floor and the walls separately. So these are going to stick on the outside of it instead of standing on top, just to give us a little bit more play area. So now that the first floor is cut out and moving on to the second floor, which is going to stick over it. I couldn't make it work in The Sims, but there's going to be an open area that looks down on this main dining drinking portion of the tavern. And then upstairs are the rooms to the end. So I've got a few started and I always have to make sure to account for the extra width that is going to be placed in there with the walls. So I think I've missed this a bit. We've got two rooms and then this walkway. So we're going to have from the outside, stairs are going to come up to here and then they'll be able to go into these bedrooms, go across to these other rooms. Over here will be a room and then I got to cut the rooms on the other side and then here's this big middle spot where they can look down. So I have to finish cutting them out and piecing them together getting them all about the right size so it fits when it's put together. I don't think I'm going to film that because a bunch of cutting gets really boring. But I will get those all cut out and we'll come back to it when we have all of our individual pieces ready. All right, so I've done it. We've got both main floors. So here's the second floor. It'll be able to set on top of the first like that. Nothing's glued really together yet because I got to get texture still. And then we're also going to have about a 30 millimeter uh, wall coming down from the second floor. And the roof is going to do the same. It's going to have 30 millimeters coming down. That's about this tall. About like that. Coming down from each uh, floor above the next. So that from the outside, this will look like one solid structure. So skip that. For now, we're not going to worry about these other floors. We're going to focus on the first floor. We're going to have to get texture on everything. Um, this is going to be our stone outside, stone walls down here, wooden floors. And then as we go up in the layers, they're going to be stucco and wood. And I also have some doors. I'm going to cheat because my doors are always really ugly. So instead of making doors, I'm gonna use these pre-made resin doors. And I've got some windows as well. But the windows aren't gonna go on this portion yet. They're gonna be on that uh, portion that's sticking out from the next floor up. Yeah, so let's grab, I'm gonna take these off piece by piece. Everything's just taped right now. I'll grab that and my texture rollers and I'll start laying out some stone texture.
All right, our stone texture is on our exterior walls. So now I gotta get the interior walls and the floor into the board. And I'm gonna use a roller for that as well. I've got the texture on and the last thing I want to do before I glue it all together is get these doors, at least the slots cut out. I want to paint them separately because that seems a lot easier to do, but I want to have the placement for them cut out. So we know this is going to be our front door. We know it's going to have to sit up this high. So I'm just going to line it up, straighten it out to where I want it, and press in right there. Got this line on the back, so I now know that needs to be the height that comes out, but we'll have to make it a little thinner to fit in. So let's just... Let's just see. Let's trace around it. One there. Goes over these cones up here. This is a small piece. So if we have to do it over again because I mess it up a bit, I don't think that's too much of a loss. That's a mess. Let's do it on this side too to see what we're missing. I am quite crooked now that we've cut it. Or I laid it crooked. Well, let's grind it in there. That's getting there. Okay. Yes. We've got a door laid in. It'll take some cleaning and we'll probably have to or maybe add a frame. Maybe not. We'll see how it works. Let's see if this still fits in the space. That adds some weight to it. Okay. That's good. This will get stairs going up later. So we'll leave this alone and we'll just spin it. My tape is definitely wearing out. of our first floor is done and laid out so I'm gonna finally be able to hot glue it together. Choose how I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna get the floors. Yeah, these floors, there's a couple extra bits that need glued together and then we're gonna start laying our walls around it. There's still a lot to do, but it's definitely a good start. So I'm gonna move on to the second floor and I'm gonna do it exactly like the first floor. Get the walls textured, get the floors textured, get the doors in. Uh, the walls are gonna be different on this one though because it's gonna be wooden plaster that makes them. So I'm gonna do uh, foil texturing 
on the walls. And I'm not going to add any wood in just yet. So those will be wood planks that go up later. And I think I'm going to glue it all together anyways before getting the wood plank and going. I'm just going to go over it with this. Hit different directions. I might switch pieces once in a while. So it doesn't look too uniform. Here we are a new day and we've got two separate floors on their own they look fine whatever it looks like a map but they don't really fit together yet so i have them just sitting on the height that i want to make the wall so what i'm going to do next is start putting it together and make it one whole building we're gonna have some 30 millimeter walls and I'm going to, in the end, attach them to the second floor so they come down. I still like playing on half walls. See, little minis can actually move around. It's easy to reach everything in there. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to work on this half wall. Those laid out, we'll have to cut out our sections that the doors fit through. And we will be adding windows got tiny little windows. So we'll get those in there. They'll have a bit of framing around them as well. I don't know if we're getting to the framing, but we're going to get started. All right, we've got our windows in. I've decided that we're going to set this on flush on this corner. I thought about having a little balcony over here, but I've changed my mind. It's going to be flush right here. Then these aren't really on yet, but then we're going to uh, put a little floor under there. We're going to have stairs that come up the side and then turn and a little set of other stairs that go in to this doorway. So that's all for later. We're not going to do stairs yet because we'll have to build them. What we are going to do is get all of the texture on this portion of the wall and get it secured together. So earlier I was using foil, but I grabbed one of my lava rocks in the backyard from the fire pit. We're going to I like how these roll into it right now. So I'm going to use these from now on for the uh, outside like plaster stucco texture. It's really not much different than the foil, but I don't have to press nearly as hard. All right, now this mid floor wall is all connected together and we just have to stick it to the second floor. I'm going to try to get this as straight and easy as possible. Not everything is perfectly straight on here and that's okay. Now I, get to, I need to do this corner piece. I do think this is going to be a wood. Yeah, a wood landing. We're just going to roll it, make it easy. All right, so I have these really stiff cardboard pieces that came with the shelves that I have my table on. There are some pretty good uh, roof shapes already. And I'm going to kind of play around with these and see if I can make some kind of a good roof out of them. Not sure exactly what I want the roof to look like. I can't remember what I mocked up earlier. So I'm going to play around with these and see what I come up with. All right, so I have kind of a plan here. We're going to go up kind of like this. I'm going to have to cut into different 
bits of these roofs to try to get in there. So I'm going to try to notch out this one so I can slide it over. Just kind of here. Yeah. Just making this up as I go along right now. I don't know if that's going to be exactly the right shape when we're done, but I'm going to try it. All right, well, we have our vague roof layout, and now it's time to add yet another layer for the roof to attach to, so I can take the roof off separately and you can still see down into the building with the windows. Uh, this top layer here is going to be one of the smallest layers. So you can see the windows on that floor, but if it's getting in the way, I can take that one off too. So I do want the roof to stick out a little overhang, just a little bit, like a real fat beam was made there. So I'm gonna, yeah, do it just like this. And then when we have the right shape, we'll start with just this roof piece. We'll glue everything together so it sticks out just a bit. That'll work. That'll work. I like it. All right, we've got our top trim all glued on all together in one piece. Now we can kind of scoot that and glue the roof down. I think these are going to get a popsicle stick on the back to hold them together and get some support. Here we are. Got a roof on. Now, it doesn't look like much yet. There's a lot of blank walls and window holes and glue sticking out. But... Here is the main structure of our building. I'm gonna have to do something to get this to flatten out and stay down. Not a big deal. But there we go, that can come off. We can see into the second floor. We can take that off and we've got our main floor. It's a pretty good pile of foam at the moment. So I think this is where we're going to stop for this video. Plenty has gone on. I got to figure out how to get this edited up <laughs> and then we're going to move on to putting detail and it won't look like such a mess of cardboard and foam anymore. I think it's going to be really cool when we start getting the detail on there. We'll get trim in. We'll add our fireplaces and a chimney coming up. We'll get some frames around all of our windows and doors. I do believe that it will really come together. Nice, huge, playable tavern. Ah, oh, thank you for being here for this one. I hope to get the next one out soon so we can keep seeing how it turns out.